Okay, so cats purring is one of my most favourite sounds. It gives me the warm and fuzzies and probably like most people, that sound is associated with contentness for me. There are literally ASMR videos out there of cats purring on loop for hours. It's good <laughs> Cats are literally just little vibrating balls of fluff. But why do they do it? Why don't other species purr like cats do? Where does the noise even come from? Like what part of the cat's body is actually making the vibrations? Um, well, let's start with the how before the why. Apparently the noise comes from the muscles within the cat's larynx. As they move, they dilate and constrict the glottis, the part of the larynx that surrounds the vocal cords, and the air vibrates every time the cat breathes in or out. And the result is a purr. And why do they purr? It's something that happens when you rub a kitty cat, so you'd like to think it would be a happy noise, right? Well, even though it's fairly certain how cats purr, there's still no definitive answer as to what triggers the response. We know for definite that cats start purring when we tickle them in places that they like to be tickled, but they also like to purr when we're not around, and the extent of that purring varies between individuals. All cats are different, they have unique personalities, some never ever purr, and some will purr constantly, um, like Taylor Swift's newest edition. There are also veterinarians that have said cats purred right up until the end, not during not happy times, um, and some will purr loudly when they are cautiously investigating new environments. Cats may also purr after they've been startled or after stressful episodes like being chased by a dog. Uh, the study of cats behaviour and communication has lagged behind that of dogs, which are usually better, I mean more willing participants, especially if there is a reward of food involved. So while a cat's purr does generally signify contentment for cats, it can also show nervousness, fear and stress. Fortunately though, more often it's an indicator of the former. And the most obvious reason cats purr, well it could be a form of communication. Teeny tiny baby cutie itty bitty kitty start purring when they are a few days old, which helps their mothers locate them for feeding time. This can persist with some adult cats who purr as they feed or who purr beforehand as they try and convince a human it's dinner time. And another interesting hypothesis is that the purr is actually used as a healing action for the kitty. It's thought that the vibrations from purring are physically rejuvenating, a way for the cat to heal itself after stress. The frequency of those vibrations, which range from 20 hertz up to 150 hertz, is thought to promote bone growth as bones harden in response to the pressure. Bone responds to 25 to 50 hertz and skin and soft tissues to around 100 hertz, according to researchers. And not only does it benefit cats, but it also benefits us too. So 50 to 150 hertz helps relieve pain in 82% of people in a study. It calms us, it pleases us. It's like watching waves against the beach. And petting a cat has been seen as a form of stress relief. Cat ownership has been said to be able to cut the risk of stroke or heart disease by as much as one third. And don't think I wasn't listening to cat purring videos while writing notes for this video. It really, it's really, really good. Um, boosts serotonin and it boosts dopamine um, to boot. And you know what else does that? Solving puzzles. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that regulates mood and feelings of optimism. It also affects memory, concentration and motivation. Dopamine is released every time we successfully solve a puzzle or a riddle or a challenge or even just get one piece right in the right place. This encourages us to continue working on solving them and challenging ourselves. Um, so you know what I was doing today? You already know I was listening to cat purring videos whilst solving one of the daily challenges with Brilliant. So much dopamine was being released. I was basically on a roller coaster at Disney World. So Brilliant have a 100 day challenge that lets you solve new challenges every day and today I learned all about static charges and how common objects get extra clingy. They also had a little experiment to try which was very much active learning but as I didn't have any scotch tape to hand I'll have to try that later. But I really felt like I learned a lot in a bite sized amount of time and I felt productive too. If you want to get your own dopamine fix whilst listening to cat purring videos of course um, and to learn more about Brilliant go to brilliant.org forward slash science with Katie where you can sign up for free. You can find the link in the description down below and the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription too. So go check it out and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this one hit subscribe. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon and thank you for watching.